Hello everybody, my name is Inkeyes. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Distance Art of and Fleet. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited. We're about to finish the last bit of the game. We're in the last sector. If I were to view Galaxy, we've come such a long way. We we started in the starting sector, but I'm and then we went to the Akari sector, the pirate sector, the Orthani sector, pirate sector. I mean, uh, one thing I didn't clarify for people who are new to this series, which is like kind of late, I guess. Like we've come all the way to the end almost, and now I'm about to mention it, but um, should have said this like a long time ago. These points, they cannot be revisited. Like you can't go back. That's the thing. Like you can only choose a route to go forward. Uh, so don't think that I've skipped anything, really. It's just like, where do you want to go from this row? And you choose, like, one of these, and then that's done. Like, if you go here, like, you can never go to these points. You're just going to move forward, and, you know, and and this is what we've done. So now we're in the home sector of the Akari, in the last bit of the game. And uh, what time is it? Okay, let's make sure that this episode doesn't go on forever. And ever... Now the question is, how do we want to tackle the rest of this galaxy? Or this sector? Going up, down, up, down, go over here, 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 and then we end. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited. I mean, I've beaten the game before, but not in this, uh, not with the new, like, the latest changes and, like, it's drastically different. And I've been talking to the developers and, um, uh, and I was trying to like get advice from them. I was telling them, you know, I my 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 comp for my for my fleet is garbage, and I feel like I'm gonna have a 0.72% chance of success maybe. And I am pretty nervous and worried that I'm gonna go all the way to the chaos fight and I'm gonna and I'm gonna just whiff it in the last battle, which might have which is like the very high chance it's gonna happen, guys. This is elite difficulty. Just keep that in mind. But he said, you know, if you can switch out your your um, rogue for another ship, it would be ideal, which is pretty true. My rogue is very weak, and uh, you gonna you guys are gonna notice, you know, you're gonna you're gonna realize that once you get to the last sector or like the the last battle, like how quickly ships can be blown up, including uh, tiny like weakling like the rogue. So if I can replace a rogue with say like a dreadnought, ooh, baby. Scan is show alone or thought any ship down close by, badly damaged and vulnerable. It was likely part of a much larger fleet, but alone it finds itself easy prey. If you do not take it, pirates will. Um, yeah, take it by force. We're not going to contact them because I don't know if that's going to call in like extra, extra, extra reinforcements. I don't like extra, extra, extra reinforcements. I don't even like extra reinforcements. Oh god. Here we go. I have to wait for my dreadnought to get his uh, shield back before I engage properly here. Alright, good, good. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's keep kiting them. We're gonna we're gonna take these guys all the way to um, to ship A. To ship A. And hopefully continue uh, firing these rockets backwards at them, destroy the uh, tiny ones. Uh, shields are coming back actually, fortunately. I may be looking at, now looking at more than one fleet of enemy ships to deal with. Oh, 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 opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in a moment. Uh, what else do we need? We need, uh, uh, this one too. Yeah, right here. Come on, come on. Two, one, beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. 
you like that? <laughs> Did you like that? I loved it. You guys are a little too late to save your friend. But I see that you are very, very hefty. Oh god. Oh god, this is not this is not a fleet I wanna Oh shit. Oh no. Well let the kiting games begin. I refuse to let my fleet die. Look at just look at this look at the minimap right now. Like look at it right now. See that it's like a bee swarm just coming to murder me. I feel like if I stop for like even a moment, things will go badly. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just, yeah, enjoy, enjoy this episode guys. Enjoy half an hour of us moving around this little thing. <laughs> At least I gotta get these, uh, those other ones. Like, the density is just too high right now. Especially with the drones. Like, it's not even... Like, the drones are another thing that is, that's really crippling right now. I'm gonna move through them hopes of dealing more damage to them. But yeah, that's about that. Uh, I'm willing to do one more thing though, and that is to fire um, this on their path. Like that. Uh, not successful, entirely. I mean, they are hurting. Don't get me wrong. Oh shit, he's slow. Go, 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 don't get stuck. Don't get stuck, okay. Alright, something blew up. Somebody blew up, that's good news. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at the number of rockets! Oh god. Keep going. Keep going. Put it over here. Oh, that disappears so quickly. <laughs> oh god. Holy sh- just the number of projectiles flying everywhere. Nuts. Just nuts. Oh, useless. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Can't even stop for a second here. Alright, a bunch of them are about to uh, blow up right now. There we go. Hear that? That was probably Torpedo, actually. Oh, fudge. This is actually quite fun. Uh, the enemy command is about to blow up, but my biggest uh, worry is that if this goes on for too long, we're gonna get we're gonna get more reinforcements that we have to deal with. Okay, please.
see how I juke them? <laughs> now we're going the other way around this thing. No, honestly, I think it's time to just, just put an end to this madness. And how are we going to do that? Oh, I'll tell you how. We're going to target the big boy. We had our fun. It's time to just end it, right? Oh, you got stuck again? Come on, man. Come on, bro. Change my mind. People are hurting more than I want them to. So we're gonna move over here. We're gonna still try to destroy this guy, but this time we're gonna do everything slightly differently. Both of those. You do this. Go like that. No. Do it to this guy. I think these are new ships, as I predicted. But once I get some, some of my shield back for like the weaker ships, I'll turn around again. Alright, time to actually face them now. Yeah, and don't ever play the game like I'm playing it right now. <laughs> it's it's not advised, <laughs> for sure. No doubt. Okay, now they're regular ships, yay! And we get adaptive reactor, not very useful actually, in fact, I'm gonna just sell it dump it. Right? Taking damage to shields or hull restores a small amount of energy. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Supplies help. Always. Oh, shit, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Upgrade. Upgrade time. Upgrade time. What do you need, buddy? Um, shield region while you're taking damage? Absolutely. No doubt about that. You also could use actually maximum shield increase. I think I think you'd love that, wouldn't you? Um, or maximum haul increase for damage. No, that's not going to be useful. Regenerating shields during combat. Very important. If I could get all three of them to be regenerate shields uh, during combat, I would, trust me. You exit in space and you find yourself in the middle of a battle. <sighs> Holy balls. Okay. Alright, the most important thing is to keep my dreadnought in good shape. Very, very important. And secondary importance. Take down this enemy command, please.
like ASAP. And then we're going to take down this guy. Yeah, come on in. Boom, son. Get wrecked. A little uh, damage on my salt, but that's totally fine. Uh, these ships are pretty incapable of hurting me, seriously. So, we're just gonna... Wait a second here. We're going to take advantage of this moment to take care of ourselves. Because there's gonna be more. Good. Tiny. I love tiny ships. Tiny ships are good for killing. And this guy. Oh my god, come on, Dreadnought. Everybody's doing well. Everybody's doing fine. Some rockets on the drones, but that's okay. Uh, I say let's take this guy down. And then just move it. Because I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. And you like to move it! Say goodbye to your to yourselves. Good shit. Thankfully, this ambush should not end with your fleet left for dead in cold space. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Get my ship repaired. My dreadnought is hurting. One of the best kept secrets of the war. This repair platform has been placed inside a camel web due to its proximity to enemy forces. As an ex-ship of the line, the RRS-4 still retains the majority of its heavy armament and cargo facilities, though much of its superstructure has been fitted out with molecular cutting and seaming tools, alloy distillation furnaces, fabrication and repair lines, and other equipment not, not traditionally found on a destroyer. This is perhaps the war's longest sentence, correct? Right. If your ships need repair, this is the best place to receive it. Also, shield pulse. Shield pulse. Shield pulse. 600 versus 500. Shield regeneration, 360 per second versus 300 per second. And energy cost is very much increased. Sadly. But it will be a good idea. It's only costing me like 300 credits, 400 credits, I don't even care. Alright, how many critical damages? Just one. And a very bad one at that. Okay, with that taken care of, I am ready to go. There's nothing else this station can offer me. Um... Inevitably, by the time we get to Aeos, our danger level is going to be probably at max. So we might as well just go to all these locations and get ready for ship acquisition. Hopefully. I may uh, dismiss that one point over there. 
Skeptical. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. New supplies and weapons. New supplies of weapons are being delivered to the Yukari station in the system, but the enemy is trying to destroy supplies in transit. Can I get some, please? Um, we're going to fire warning shots at the ships. The Orthani Dodge gun fire with ease and moving on the cargo ship. We're going to protect it. Shoot. Oh, isn't this great? The cargo ship is going to be in the middle of a torpedo. Do that. Do this. Somebody blocked it. Oh, this is not good. I lost my own ships in the middle of everything. Come on, man. Get him. Shit. Get this get this tiny guy being so annoying here. Yeah, there you go. I mean we're dealing a lot of damage, guys. Do you see how quickly they go down actually when I put my mind to it? Oh yeah? I will respond to your torpedo with my own torpedo. Okay, shields are getting compromised. Uh, about to dip into hall for my assault. We're gonna move him away. Keep him out of the conflict. There we go, we got him. Cool. I think that was the sound of enemy coming. This is a very, very long distance for this guy to travel at this pace. Oh god. Oh, enemy command? Oh, shit. Unfair. Unfair is what I say. We're gonna get the tiny ones again first. And then after that, after a little bit of kiting, we're gonna get the, the rest of them. Oh, no, 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 no. You will leave my dreadnought alone. Oh yeah, you will, you will, no, 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 no. You will, no, no. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Yoko Ono. No, no. Oh great, yeah, why don't you all move out? Uh, run. 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 <laughs> Save yourselves. Oh, no. I, I want to get this one first. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh really? We're not gonna. Get, we, we didn't get him. We didn't get that guy. How awful is that?
Yeah, let's see who wins. About. stressful we're definitely getting a third wave uh, either along the way or as we're docking oh this thing is so slow now it's gonna go around this thing all funky like look at it even wasting more of my time I'm the war leader commander do you know whose time you're wasting here buddy by not driving straight Why are you not moving out? Said the mother to his 40 year old child. What? Can I doubly increase it? Can I do like 50% extra damage on him? Is that happening? I don't I don't think so. Oh you 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 just went and we just went ahead and did it. Alright, cool. Okay. I mean, what do you say to that, right? Oh, I totally missed him. <laughs> Oops. Uh, buddy? You are uh, in grave danger. Can you get a little closer? God damn it. There we go. Oh, watch out for the drone zone with the two drones. Oh. Scary. <laughs> Yikes. The Akari sent uh, you their thanks and nothing else. Every point that I travel to is like risk of total destruction, by the way, as we can see. A distant planet is passing its, its parent star. It's a small note of beauty in such a vast, grim space and place. You gotta enjoy the small things in life. You arrive at a fortified port close to Orthani occupied space. Port Tranus. It is a lawless place inhabited by those without honor. However, you'll have to pass through this area of your to intercept the Airbus platform. Um, we're going to contact them and purchase attachments. I don't care about high command. You open a visit link to the port supply officer. He's drunk on Ketha's shabbily dress and obviously dislikes Akari. A Joanna Akari, Falja. Uh, your manners are very displeasing. I don't care about you. Just, just show me the shit you have. He shrugs and gives you a sour look. You'll find you, you'll find you and your kind to charge double here. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's true. He's gonna charge us double here. Twenty-one thousand for a pulsar. Uh, Fortify hall plating. I don't care about that. Unstable overcharging. Ooh. Level three. Pulsar. 
Probably not. EMP beam level three. Repeat. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a good upgrade. Five thousand though. Holy balls. How much would you giving back though? Also, wait, 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 wait. Can I? Should I replace this one? Reload sec. Reload time one sec. All right. So. Um, every second, this guy deals 168 versus every second, this one deals 22 times 5. 110. The 11 is what, 12? It is 12. You, got, you gotta love these damage increases, right? It goes from 11 to wait for it. Oh my god! One more! Twelve! <laughs> um, how much, how much is it gonna cost me? It's gonna cost me 4,000? Do I wanna take 4,000? Do I wanna do this for 4,000 for one extra damage? I don't think so. It's basically gonna be five extra damage per second. Um, the Pulsar though. No, I'm gonna come across another ship ship shop. I'm like almost 100% sure. So, no thanks. All right, we're gonna go to Shenex Station. The Shenex Station has been using a small fleet to assist in maintaining the economic economic blockade against the Orthani. Perhaps some of the ships could be could serve your as uh, my cause now. I uh, I agree. I very much agree. Dear game, the current station you approach is in a pitiable state of repair, and it takes several attempts to get the station officer on the Visicom. When he finally does appear, his uniform is dis disarrayed, and he's obviously intoxicated. Uh, what? What do you- Oh! Ah! Warrior? Sir? I'm coming aboard. Station stinks of grilled meat, spirits, and perfume, as well as other unwashed and unnameable odors. You grimace at the decadent collection of wine, furs, and uh, objet d'art that fill the land <laughs> every time I get to this- <laughs> Objezdar that fill these opulent living quarters. The officer sees the look on your face. We've been maintaining the economic embargo on your authority war leader. Contraband has to be scared and drunk. Uh, I need your ships. Your embargo is over. Give me your ships. All of your ships. Oh, you don't have anything good. Turtle mode 3 versus turtle mode 1. <clears throat> what does it give Oh, it's so expensive. 2. 600 shield restore. 360 per second. 300 per second. It does not cost extra, though. That's the thing. It also does go up to 60% damage resistance, which I believe is extremely crucial. However, on the other hand, we need to prioritize uh, getting another ship here. And that other ship has to be an assault, basically, because the gunships are not as good as the assault. And what attach? What? Oh, there are no attachments for anybody else to take. All right. Well, definitely two assaults is going to be better than one assault and one rogue. However, the, I mean the rogue's damage increase on enemy ships, the 25% extra damage is quite delish. But on the other hand, um, I'm going to have a guy who will have two weapons, uh, much more viability, uh, much less micromanagement necessary. So basically, I'm going to buy this after I scrap this guy. And in his living memory, we'll call him Crab. Just pretend like it's... Same ship, just reincarnated to be better. <laughs> and you're definitely going to take this, for sure. And there is absolutely nothing else that we could do as far as preparations go for 
for this set of shiz. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to call an episode here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to go and tackle the last few points that we have remaining and see what comes out of them. Maybe more attachments. I don't know. Um, but we have gone through the entire system again, which is great. And I hope that you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy it. And subscribe.